¿Cómo te llamo? Leo Gómez. Mucho gusto. Me llamo Cody. Nice to meet you, Cody. Uh, would you like to tell us about your shop? Yes, of course. Come in. We are the Wells House. We have been here for like 11 years. We just reopened after the COVID. Oh. So this is which all we have a co-worker working over here, but because it's December, he went to see the family to the mountains. Mm -hmm. They live at the mountains. They are Wicholes because that's the language they speak. It's called dialect. Sí. Nowadays we are not allowed to say dialect because it would be bullying. We say you speak a different language. Oh, Have you heard about Hernán Cortés? This guy from Spain, oh, a lot sí. of years ago came trying to conquer us. Yeah. And he killed a lot of our indigenous people. Yeah. So the best way to survive was to run. They ran to the mountain. So they didn't mix with the Spanish people. So when you see them, they look all the same face. They are the real Mexicans, not white. This color, like your color. Yeah. yeah. So he's working over here. This is the beeswax, this is the beads, or it can be here, and the needle. The piece can be wood, clear ceramic, then a layer of beeswax, and the beads one by one with a needle. This is what they do. In Mexico, we have no beads. This is from Czechoslovakia. You know, this, this kind of art used to be just painted by hand. Oh, wow. When they discovered the beads, they started putting on the beeswax. This is one of the pieces. But the most important for them, and the symbols. All the symbols you see in the pieces, they have a meaning and they really respect them. For example, this is the eye of God. It's the eye who sees everything. Oh, yeah. Even though they are indigenous people, they are not allowed to do bad things or lie or they really, they really respect themselves. Yeah. And this is like amulet. It's like, like a butterfly, but it's protection for the house, oh. for the evil spirits. Everything I'm talking about is what they believe. Mm -hmm. I agree with a lot of things, and some of things are a little weird for me. <laughs> the scorpions are the protectors of the peyote. Have you heard about peyote? Oh, see. Sí. Have you ever eaten peyote? No. You want some? Sure. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 you know, peyote is very strong. It's a natural drug, also considered as a natural medicine. This is what they eat in order to have contact with their guts. They can get into different dimensions when they eat peyote. Very, very strong. You need a chaman. You know chaman? Mm. Like a wizard. Oh, yeah, yeah. This guy is going to let you know the amount of peyote you have to eat. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can get lost in the dimensions. I've done that before. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here, this is the corn, that it means prosperity. This is the beer, and the beer is considered as one of the gods they have, because they believe the beer was on earth before the human beings. Okay. That's what they believe. And the candle, the candle when it's red, it means long life. And this is the eagle of two heads. This is what, when I said weird things, I haven't seen any eagle like this. <laughs> but if they put it over here, maybe they have seen it. They think this eagle protects them when they are going and when they are coming. That's why it's looking at both directions. Because they have no transportation at the mountain. Most of the time they walk for hours to go to the grocery store, to go to school. They need to walk, all barefoot, sometimes no sandals. No sandals because you know what they believe is that walking with no sandals, barefoot, they receive the energy from the sun. And now with the pandemic, the doctor recommends to take the sun for the vitamin D. So they are right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the things they are right. And when I say prosperity corn, it's food. So when you have corn, it's food, it's prosperity. Right? All these pieces, now we are working with black. These colors are not common, mm -hmm. but this is all about marketing. Because the customers they want to see different things, you know. But the real, real Michol is colorful. Mm -hmm. Because in Mexico we are considered like that, all colorful and happy. Except the Katrina. You know Katrina? No. You see very elegant but dead. You know why? Have you heard about Jose Guadalupe Posadas? No. That was a very famous oil painter. He used to paint oil paintings. You know, uh, when Hernán Cortés came to Mexico, they had they got here in the very beautiful boats, cruise ships, big ones, and very elegant ladies. At that time, we used to wear just white color. We call manta, you know, fabric, just manta, just white. Yeah. All the Mexicans white. So very elegant ladies, they got here, but this guy started painting the paint like occupation, like teacher, but like dead, firefighter, dead. Everybody elegant but dead. And the TV program, he was asked why. He said, because even rich and poor people, all we are going to be in the skeleton someday. This is the reality of everybody. So very elegant but dead. This is called Katrina. You know, you want to see the skeleton? That's, that's the meaning of the Katrina. 
A lot of a lot of time to make those pieces. Oh, beautiful! How how long does it take? This was like three weeks. Wow! For them, because they know. For me, it would be for them. <laughs> <laughs> Our idea is to keep the tradition on. Everything is disappearing. Indigenous people they are disappearing. Difficult to find them because they go back to the mountains where they live. You know. Mm -hmm. So this is all the witcher.